Good morning, guys. It oh, afternoon actually. It is Saturday today, and I thought I'd do a little weekend vlog. I don't do these ever, but I was just like, why not? I tried to weekly vlog this week, and it just didn't happen. This week has just been a total mess, just like very out of routine, and just like a lot of things happening, which is good and like really fun. But I just totally flopped on the vlogging front, so. I thought rather than giving up completely, I'll just do a little weekend vlog. Liam and I just got home a little bit ago from hanging out. We went out for lunch and then we went to the shops and we went into game. Well, first of all, I had to go get a book because I'm seeing the girls tonight and we're doing a little bestie book exchange where we all picked a name out of a hat and we had to buy a book for that person. But I picked out George's name. So I got to get a book for her and I just finished wrapping it. But as soon as I picked her name, I was like, I know exactly the book I want to get her. And I hope she loves it because I loved it when I read it. But no matter what the actual book is, I think it's just such a sweet little idea. So we have that and I love the wrapping. This wrapping paper is from Kayser Craft. They had the cutest wrapping paper this year. I'll show you the other one I got too. How stinking cute is this wrapping paper? I've never bought wrapping paper from Kayser Craft. I didn't really like think of it before, but I walked in the other day to get some cards because I had some weddings to go to and they always just have the best cards. And I saw this wrapping paper and I was like, oh, I absolutely need both of those. It was so hard to choose which wrapping paper to go with for George because I was like, they're both so cute. I want to use both of them, but I went with the green, but I can't wait to use the red one or like pinky one as well. But we also went into Kmart for one thing. Did I find that one thing? No. Did I walk out with a bunch of new gnomes? Yes, I did. So here's a gnome haul. Liam was not happy about this, but oh my gosh, you can see his hat. Oh my gosh. But you know what? It brings me joy. And I was not feeling very good today, so. <laughs> It was a perfect time to buy some more gnomes. Every year Kmart comes out with these mini gnomes. And also, I know they're called gonks. Everyone always messages me being like, Rachel, they're not Christmas gnomes, they're gonks. If you walk into Kmart, they're literally on the tag, it says Christmas gnome. So I know they're called gonks, but I feel like in Australia, they're often marketed as Christmas gnomes. I don't know why, that's just how it goes. Anyway, so you guys know I love gnomes. Every year I always buy these little mini ones that they bring out at Kmart because they always come out with like new ones every year. And so I usually just pick like two or three of my favorites. And this year, these are the ones that I went with. We have a little white one with a star in his hat, a little green stripey guy, and then a little red stripey guy with a little bit of mistletoe on his hat. They've never had stuff on their hats before. So this is just a really fun little addition. Can't wait to put them on the windowsill with all of my other guys. I also found these little um, Christmas ornaments. Are you kidding? They look so cute. So they had two. They had a little Santa and a little reindeer. I got both of them. They were $2 each. Absolutely no way I could walk away without these. They're the cutest things I've ever seen. And then when we were walking to the register, I found these guys and Again, Liam was not happy about this, but we found more gnomes. Actually, he likes these ones. We don't have anything like this. They are little Christmas tree ornaments, but they are gnomes and they're little stars. I don't know if you can really tell, but they're in the shape of a star, but they're also a Christmas gnome. So I got one of each color. So we have a red guy, a green guy, and a pink guy, and they are the cutest things I've ever seen. So I'm gonna put these on the Christmas tree right now. I think we have about 20, maybe not. That's actually an exaggeration. Maybe like 15 Christmas gnomes on our tree because I have like all the ornaments that I've ever found and I love them they make me so happy so that's what you've missed pretty crazy day um, I'm actually just about to get ready to drive to the Gold Coast I love being on the Gold Coast but I've just been back and forth all week <laughs> so it's just it's starting to feel like a bit of a chore to do the drive but I'm really excited let's catch up for a sec this week Monday Tuesday Wednesday I was just working like filming editing doing computer stuff because on Thursday I had a wedding and then on Friday I had another wedding and so obviously both of those days were pretty busy so like my usual work was kind of compressed into the first three days of the week which was fine we got it done but it was just a very different week to my normal week so on Thursday I went to Brie and Dylan's wedding and it was so beautiful just so stunning they looked amazing they looked so in love the whole day and that is my absolute favorite thing like when you go to a wedding and the bride and groom just look so obsessed with each other and so happy it genuinely like makes the wedding better and honestly I walked away from that wedding being like that was probably one of my favorite weddings I've been to and I feel like it really comes down to the bride and groom like I really think that you can have the most beautiful venue the most beautiful dress the most beautiful flowers and decor and all of those things and it kind of means nothing if the bride and 
and groom don't look like they're having a good day. But if the bride and groom are just having fun, it literally doesn't matter how pretty anything looks or if things go wrong. It like doesn't matter because if the bride and groom are having a great day and they just look so in love, everyone just has a great time. At least that's how I feel. So that was beautiful. And then the next day, my friends came and Beth got married and that was equally as beautiful and just like such a gorgeous ceremony it was so god-centered which i loved and like again the bride and groom just looked so in love and so happy so honestly like just two amazing weddings so crazy to have two weddings back to back i've never had that before and i'm not gonna lie as much as i loved the weddings and i had so much fun and i just felt so happy to be there and so lucky to be involved like to be a part of someone's wedding day just as a guest is such a privilege and such an honor because obviously that is one of the most important days of someone's life and for them to want to have you a part of it like be there as a guest I think is just like such a privilege such an honor I feel so blessed to have so many wonderful people in my life and be surrounded by so many beautiful love stories like it actually just it makes me so happy. But I will say, as an introverted homebody, having two weddings back to back was just a lot for me, like socially. Like I feel like my social battery is very much depleted. And I think that also contributed to why I didn't vlog or like why I didn't end up feeling like I was doing a good weekly vlog because I just hadn't, like I had no energy left to give. So I am definitely feeling a bit bleh, but like in a good way. Like I, I, I'm so glad that I had the weddings and like I wouldn't change that for the world I just need some time to recharge however like I mentioned today is Saturday and I'm heading back to the Gold Coast because we're having a bit of a girls night tonight and I'm not gonna lie I think if tonight wasn't as important as it is I probably would have messaged the girls and been like I'm so sorry but I actually can't do it <laughs> like I I think I just need to stay home but tonight is the last time I'm gonna see Soph and George before they go overseas for quite a while and so there is no way that I'm gonna miss out on that like I need to have one last girls night with them and i'm so excited for them to go on their trip like genuinely so excited for them it looks like well obviously they haven't been on it yet but like it sounds like it is going to be such a dream trip and i can't wait to like see everything they get up to and like all the fun that they have but obviously i'm just gonna miss them so much so i was like there is no way i'm missing out on my last chance to like have quality time with them before they go away so that's kind of the plans for tonight which I am excited for. I just hope that I can kind of scrounge up the last bit of my social battery that I have. I also got my period yesterday and my energy has just been very like zapped from that as well, I think. And I've kind of had not great sleeps. I think sometimes it is worth staying at home and like kind of just replenishing your social battery, I guess. But tonight I just want to hang out with my friends even though I'm very tired. But also, you know when you're with your close friends and they don't drain your social battery? I feel like weddings are like the most draining social thing you can do because they're such a long day and you're just talking to so many different people and you're like dancing, you're listening to speeches, it's emotional, like it's just a draining day even though it's such a wonderful day. And having two back to back, I was just like, this is not good for my introvert self. But equally, very happy about it. It's like the duality of a very happy feeling but also just being so exhausted like I feel like you can be both at once this fly is really annoying me so that's my little life update for you all I'm gonna probably get changed into some comfy clothes pack a bag <laughs> and head back to the Gold Coast I was there yesterday but we're gonna go back today what have you got in your bag of goodies one egg one egg brown sugar self-raising flour can you guess what we're doing pause and guess in the comments no, no cheating. Um, unfortunately, soap has the other half of the ingredients. Oh, so that's well, your, that's your clues. Those are your clues. What could we possibly be doing? Definitely not baking something. <laughs> Definitely not baking. No. Definitely not making chocolate chip cookies. No, 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 no. It'll be a surprise. <laughs> also, look at Somi's tree. Ah! Have you got a favorite decoration? I do. Everyone, show me your favorite decoration. Show me your favorite? Yes, I'll tell you. Do you want to know right now? Yeah, do you want me to, and then I'll tell you mine. Okay, my favorite is the carrot. Mm -hmm, nice one. <laughs> What's your favorite? This one. Really? It reminds me of a baby. It reminds me of the Polar Express. Here's a close-up. Only people who believe can hear it. Hear it ring. I can hear it. <laughs> Here's the close-up of the carrot, everyone. Yeah. Pizza. George, what's your favorite? That's not shocking to me. That's my second favorite. Yeah, mushrooms, some mushrooms. Santa. And Somi, what's your favorite? Oh. I love the carrot. Yeah. I love my little Santa. Oh, this one's to, very to fun. Santa. I love that one um, too. And I do love this one. Yeah. 
the bell. Yeah. Do you know what? This one's really cute. Yeah, Very this cute. Is, this was my one from Mummy. Oh, Guys, I'm in tree. I I bought three more gnome decorations today. I'm just gonna do a. <laughs> that is so <laughs> <slurred>. <laughs> oh. Does anyone's vlog know what's going on? No, no, no. I know. Let me do a little. Play the top. Literally, the first time she's ever. Do a little lucky draw. Ready? Okay, ready? Three, three two, one. one. Oh no, you don't like the pillow you're writing. Can I turn my flower? <laughs> Can you take a photo for me? Yeah, of course. Yeah, I trust you more. Oh, oh. This, this feels hot. I'm doing a photo. Oh, ready? Three, two, one, go! Oh! Oh! Yeah. Oh! You just wait. <laughs> Dedicated single mom! Yeah. <gasps> the first Harry Potter book. Oh, oh I'm so excited. I'm gonna add this to my I, book collection. I I hardly even remember. That's what I just keep reading and see what happens. Thank Mommy. you so much, Sommy. Silly Sommy. Ready for my chicken dozer and something <laughs> to grow. <laughs> Question you like answer. <laughs> Straight away. I was like, you're feeling so goofy. I just knew it. And then you were like, I'm making TikToks. And I was like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> At the wedding, we were like, oh, like, our like lommy, sommy, gommy, rommy is like. <laughs> We are those when we're like <laughs> goofy. Yeah, yes. that's like our goofy selves. Like, it's oh, like you're, you're being extra lommy today. Yeah. Yeah. Like, you're in your lommy today, yeah. you know? Mm. My hooded towel and my crocs, <laughs> that is my ultimate gommy form. <laughs> like, she's in her ultimate mm. gommy form. So, me with her eye and pimple masks patches on and pimple patches. patches. The bun. Oh my gosh. So like, come to the bun. Yeah. In bed. Yes. 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 Oh, you at your hens um, with yeah. your Stanley. <laughs> And your full glam sweatshirt, Stanley. Because <laughs> you like never look bad. Yeah, we were like, but like that Lang never doesn't look put floor. together. Yeah. <laughs> Head oh, chef, sous yeah. chef, social media chef. girls. <laughs> um, so I feel like a lot of. Sorry, even guys. I was making lasagna the other night and I needed a little bit of flour for my white sauce. I didn't even realize it. Oh, was yeah, I just kind of. Rachel <laughs> makes lasagna sauce and Lang buys it. I don't even buy lasagna sauce, so I just Cancel. buy the whole lasagna. <laughs> Cancel <laughs> Lang in the comments. Rachel, what do you have to say to your fans out there? <laughs> Your siblinging, <laughs> and I've had it up to here. Turkey. That's I've had one egg. <laughs> oh, a little egg. Favorite. It's now preheating. <laughs> oh. I watched a podcast about how microwave works the other day. Is this an oven or a microwave? It's a microwave. It's a microwave oven. Yeah. Obviously. Because it's literally preheating to 170 degrees. <laughs> <laughs> no, you can't be afraid. I don't, don't know. Don't know. Don't make unnecessary so journeys. Uh, <laughs> that it's not quite <laughs> And then we just vibe. Or we get to it. And then back to the way we can. And then what's our second move? Really get to it. Oh, oh. oh. Sorry. Wait, wait. It's like one, just... two. Boom. Oh, okay. one, two, boom. Get the camera! Wait, you've got such a long lens. Yeah. Can we look at the other ones if I just add my hand? I can't 
What's what I'm looking for? It's one, two, round the head. One, two, round the head. Why is that the end? Huh? Yeah, that's the end. Yeah, that's the end. Um, so, right, 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 left, right. left, back, boom, boom, boom. Start we'll the back and we we'll jump. jump. As true, like we have. Creative different. Are we just like, so you just like shake? Oh, oh. <laughs> I think we need to go further down because when we do this. Wow, thank you. Wow, that's so sweet. I really am really getting fast. It might even be better, I don't know. Yeah. 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 It is quite literally one of the coziest days that we've had in I don't even know how long. I just want to go show you out the window, but you can't see. But it's raining. It's been raining all day, non-stop. And sometimes that sucks, but today I haven't actually really had to leave the house. I did grocery shopping and that was it. Other than that, I've been just working from my computer all day. And so it's just been so cozy. I've had the Christmas lights on all day, which I never do, but because it's been so dark and gray and dreary, I've just kept them on all day and it's just oh, so hot. And I have like all the candles on in the house as well. And I mean, this isn't a candle, but this little cutie lamp, it's just so cozy everywhere. Good morning, USA. I've got a feeling that it's gonna be a wonderful day. I'm just getting ready to go out. I have a therapy appointment at nine. And then I think I'm gonna go to the shops and do a couple fun things. I'm sorry if you can hear the washing machine. It's really like going at it this morning. I feel like I really just threw the therapy in there without explaining anything, but I've actually been going to therapy for most of this year. And at first I literally didn't tell anyone, not because I'm ashamed of it, because I do not think therapy is something to be ashamed of at all. I honestly admire literally anyone in therapy because I feel like it's one of the best things you can do, not only for yourself, but also for the people around you because it helps you become a better version of yourself. So I feel like it is just so beneficial in so many ways. But at first it just felt like something very personal to me and something that I just really wanted to figure out by myself. So at first I was kind of like, I just want to do this and kind of figure it out for myself and I'll just tell people when I feel ready to tell people and like feel ready to talk about it. And over time I like told the people in my life but I still haven't told you guys. And again, it's not really that big of a deal and I'm not trying to make it into a big deal. I do feel like I'm ready to kind of talk about it and I think I'm going to talk about it more in a bit of an end of year reflection. I think like my last vlog of the year, I wanna sit down and kind of just like talk about this year and reflect on it a little bit and I feel like I want to go a lot more in depth about my experience with seeing a psychologist at that point in time but I will say it is quite literally one of the best decisions I have ever made and I want to say that if you have been considering going to therapy please let this be your sign to go to your doctor get your referral or go to your local psychology clinic whatever step you need to take like this is your sign because it has literally changed my life I don't want to say I feel like a brand new person because I still very much feel like myself but I do feel like I am such a better version of myself oh my gosh I'm getting emotional I didn't expect this I have been to therapy in the past but I haven't been in my 20s and it's just like a totally new experience I think going in 
your 20s or just like going as an adult and I have a new diagnosis I've also started medication for my anxiety and I'm just so thankful for psychologists for therapists for counselors for mentors for anything in that kind of space and for doctors as well of course because honestly through going to therapy and through doing all of that stuff I just feel like I'm such a better version of myself I do want to say I feel very privileged to be in a position where I can go to therapy where that is accessible to me where I can afford that like I very much understand that there is such a level of privilege that comes into it but if it is something that you think will be beneficial to you and you can do it financially mentally whatever it may be I am such an advocate for it so I'm excited to go to therapy today in saying that it is always so draining I feel like it's honestly such a double-edged sword I feel like when I walk out of therapy like out of my psychologist appointment I literally walk out feeling so drained but equally so light like I feel like I have worked through so much in that one hour like it's insane how much I get through and how much I learn in that one hour like it feels very draining emotionally and mentally but I also feel like my mental load is so much lighter than when I walked in so let me know if you have any questions about going to therapy going to see a psychologist anything like that because maybe then I can answer those questions at the end of the year in my little reflection that I mentioned before. I don't know if people even want to hear about it, like I don't know if it's something that people want to discuss, but I just know that I really wish I had someone that I could have asked questions to. And so if you guys have questions, please let me know. But again, I don't want my mental health to be my whole personality because it's really just like, obviously it's a part of me and I can't change that, but I also don't want it to be who I am. In saying that, I'm gonna go hang my washing out and then we'll head to her appointment. I just finished at therapy. I've just driven to the shops. There's a few things I need to do here. I need to go to the post office and pick up a package. I also talked about some books with my psychologist and there was one that she recommends for me. And so I might go see if my local bookstore has it. And there's another, or well, there are two other books that I've been really looking at. I'm trying not to buy too many books at the moment because I'm really trying to work on my physical TBR. But both of these books I've been really looking at for a while. So we'll just see. We'll just see. And then I need to drive to another shopping center to do some other things. I'll keep you guys updated. Now at the second shopping center and the main thing i want to do here is go to kmart so i have these little gift tags i do this every year but all of these little gift tags represent a little little boy or a little girl in the foster care system and so i'm going to buy a gift for each of them we have four-year-old girl two-year-old boy and two-year-old girl so some fun little little kids toys to pick out i'm excited and then i have a couple things i need to get as well I'm looking in the toy section and so many of these toys are three plus and I have two two-year-olds. I have all of the little wooden toys, all three plus. <laughs> Why is this the cutest thing I've ever seen? Like I feel like something like this would be such a cute little gift, but it, three plus. Again, so cute, three plus, three plus, three plus. I don't personally know any two-year-olds, so I don't even know what two-year-olds can do slash like to do. Maybe I'll go to the like baby section. I feel like we have some cute little options here. Like this cute little dump truck, 18 months plus. I think this is really cute, a little boat with animals. It's really hard when you don't know like what they like or what they already have. I'm just gonna obviously have to guess. But I just can't get too in my head about it because I'm never gonna know what they have or what they like. So I'm just gonna have to, have to guess. Oh no, I've got a jammed trolley. There we go. Please. There we go. I feel like when in doubt, go to the craft section. Cause I feel like, I know not all kids love craft, but surely at least it's like an activity, you know? What about some little construction toys? It does say three plus, but like maybe, I don't know. I'm overthinking it. I'm overthinking it. I know I am. Okay, I have the two year olds done. Now I'm just looking for a four-year-old girl. 
Obviously I'm home and I want to show you guys what I ended up picking up from the shops. I just wanted to quickly explain what I'm doing because I don't know if I explained it very well. Basically every year I love to participate in this like foster care, I guess it would be a toy drive. Is that what you would call it? Little Christmas gift situation. I used to do it through my old church because my old church was affiliated with a specific like foster care organization. But then we moved to a new church and our new church does some other like different Christmas drives instead, like food drives and different things. And I was kind of sad because I was like, dang it, I really loved doing this specific like toy drive. But thankfully my mum's work does it. So basically my mum's work puts out all of these little gift tags that I showed you before. And it would just say, girl aged four, boy aged 12, whatever it may be. And you can grab one or a couple of those gift tags and you can go out and buy a gift for that child and bring it back to the workplace. They all get picked up and delivered out to, you know, the kids that you bought them for, which is so special and so sweet. And I guess the idea is obviously to like spread Christmas cheer and just make the festive season really fun for children. And especially children that just may have it a little bit more difficult or maybe foster parents who have a lot of kids to shop for it's just trying to make life a little bit more fun and exciting and not as stressful specifically for foster carers i know that there are a lot of different toy drives and christmas drives and things like that out there for lots of different types of people and obviously i'm only participating in one and whilst i would love to share the organization with you guys i literally can't because it's done through my mum's work and it's just like for the people that work there slash like the family of the people who work there. So that's the only way I was able to like access these little like gift tags that I can then go buy gifts for these children. So every year when I talk about this, people are like, how can we do this? How can we get involved? And I wish I could share it with you guys, but I can't. And also the little gift tags get taken by all of the workers so quickly, which is great because it means that everyone wants to be involved. But by the time I go to share it with you guys, I couldn't even if I wanted to because all of the gift tags for all of those kids have already been like taken off and you know someone's already buying a gift for them which yeah again is really great but it just means that I can't help you guys get involved which I know that's really annoying but I wanted to mention it in case you guys know of any organizations that might do this or something similar whether it's a toy drive or a food drive or something like that or whether it's for foster kids or maybe people without homes or people that are just doing it tough during the Christmas season like please let me know in the comments below so that other people can find it and maybe get involved with that instead but yeah I know that's really annoying that you guys can't get involved in this but I really recommend maybe doing some research and seeing if there's something similar in your community because it is such a wonderful initiative and I love it so much. Let me show you what I picked up. First of all, I had a little boy, age two, and a little girl, age two. So for the little boy, I ended up getting this train farm set with storage. That's so cute. It's just like a little wooden train set and it comes in this little tub. Um, this does say three plus. I'm hoping that it's fine. And then I just got one of these mess free like coloring books. I've heard Aspen Ovard talk about these a lot. She says she loves these for her kids. So I was like, maybe that will be fun and obviously nice for the parents slash carers as well because it's mess free. And then for the little girl, I got this wooden kitchen accessories kit and it's just a bunch of like pots and pans and cutlery and like a little cut board and spatulas and like all of that sort of stuff and again I just thought that I would have loved this as a kid she likes it again it says age three plus but the pieces don't look too small I'm not a mum. I don't really know what I'm doing I hope this stuff is okay but obviously I could be so wrong and that really stresses me out but I'm just doing the best I can with the information I have and also like I don't know these kids personally so I can't choose anything based on what they actually like which is sad but I'm doing my best and then I also just got another little mess free coloring book for this little girl as well. And then for my little four year old girl, I got some glitter Play-Doh. This just sounds so fun to me. Like why do I kind of want it? And then I also got some tools that she can use with the Play-Doh, like rolling pins and like cutters and stuff like that. And then I just got a bunch of extra Play-Doh, not glittery, but still hopefully fun. And then lastly, I also got her this, which I just kind of saw on the way out. And I was like, this is so fun, but it's a little craft kit and it says make your own wooden and peg fairies like stop it's just like felt and pegs and you can just like make your own little fairies like why do I also want to do this it looks so cute and then I also just saw these and I was like okay why not 
but they're just little bubble ones. So I thought these would be good for kids of like any age. So I just got three of those, one to put in each of the gifts. And then lastly, I just grabbed some gift bags because since these are going to kids that we don't know, all of the gifts have to be checked over by like supervisors and like official people just to make sure they're all safe and appropriate for the kids that they are going to. So those are all the gifts that I got. And then I did buy a couple of things for myself too. And I also got some gifts for other people, but I can't show you those. I ended up getting two books while I was out. I was on the lookout for three specific specific books and I ended up finding two and so the last one I might just order online but a couple weeks ago I was talking in a video about like a specific genre of book I was like if anyone knows any books that fit into this very like specific niche please let me know and someone recommended this book and I've never heard of it before but it sounded like it was something that I would absolutely love like exactly what I was looking for exactly what I described it's called Flower Heart by Catherine Bakewell this is what the cover looks like. It is YA fantasy. And I'll read you the back because it sounds so good to me. Clara's magic has always been wild, but it's never been dangerous. Then a simple touch causes poisonous flowers to bloom in her father's chest. The only way to heal him is to cast an extremely difficult spell that requires perfect control. And the only person willing to help her is her former best friend, Xavier, who's grown from a sweet, shy child into a mysterious and distant young man. Xavier asks for a terrible price in return, knowing Clara will give anything to save her father. As she struggles to reconcile the new Xavier with the boy she once loved, she discovers their bargain is only one of the heavy secrets he's hiding. And as she hunts for the truth, she instead finds the root of a terrible darkness that's taken hold of the queendom, a darkness only Clara's magic is powerful enough to stop. But apparently this has a lot of discussion about flowers, which I love reading about. And obviously it's YA. It might have a bit of romance in it. I don't actually know if it does, but it just sounds so good. And I'm really excited to read this at some point. And then the other one that I found is the Book Club Hotel by Sarah Morgan. Soph actually just bought this for Lang and gave it to her in our book exchange. And I've seen it around for a while. And every time I see it, I'm like, oh, that is such a cute cover. That looks like such a cute book, but I've never picked it up. And then when we were hanging out and Lang got given this book, she read the back of it and it sounded so interesting. So I was like, okay, I'm so sorry, but like, I actually need to buy it for myself now. So I did and I just love the cover. I'm assuming it might be I don't know if it's necessarily like Christmassy, but it's definitely like wintry. Oh, it says like making it through the festive season. So it sounds like it might be Christmassy. I'm considering doing a bit of a holiday slash Christmas reading vlog because I think I have three Christmassy books that I want to read. So let me know if you want to see that. I don't know if that's interesting. I don't ever read holiday books or at least I haven't in the past, but this year I'm kind of in the mood for it. It just seems really cozy and fun. And then the last thing I got for myself, I was walking past Cotton On and I just got sucked in there just like sucked in. Didn't mean to, I just fell in. I fell in and then, then I found this top and I needed it and I bought it. So no, to be fair, I've had my eye on this top for a while and then I walked past and they were having 30% off and I was like, okay, I'll go and get that top that I've had my eye on for like a month or maybe even more. But it's just this really cute little crochet, almost like a vest. It's kind of hard to tell. Like, how do you wash this? I don't really know, but I'll wear like a little bralette or a little singlet underneath as well, I think. Yeah, I just thought it was really cute and perfect even just to like wear over a bikini to the beach or something as well. But I was like, it's on sale. It's basically free you know what I'm saying anyway I've had a very fun morning but I definitely need to actually get some productive things done now so I'm gonna package all of these gifts up and then probably sit at my computer for the rest of the day